guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we have a new brand that we are going to be trying out this is madam glam i see madam glam everywhere so it's really exciting that i finally get to try their products so thank you to madam glam for sending me these items and let's just get right into it i want to show you what i have here so here is the little box i'm just going to open this up and we have here some gel polishes. We also have something else that I want to show you first. They also sent me a nail lamp, which I'm so, so excited to try. I've been using my old nail lamp for just since the beginning of my nail YouTube channel. We first have the nail lamp. We got the cord here. And we also have the instructions. So this is how the lamp look. We have the different times, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and 60 seconds, as well as the on and off button and the different heat modes. And it also has a timer, which I really like. My old nail lamp does not have a timer. So I'm going to be using this nail lamp in today's video. Okay, let's get back into the gel polishes. I want to swatch all of these colors for you guys so we can see just what we have here. We have four gel polish colors and we also have a base coat and a top coat. And we also also have this cuticle oil here is what it looks like i'll use this cuticle oil today as well okay so we're just gonna get looking at all of these colors and i didn't just want to swatch them on my napkin because i wanted you guys to really see these colors so this is the first color we have here called caffeinated and it has the color here at the tip of the brush which i really love so you can see exactly what color you're getting here is the color it's a very sheer brown and i think it's a really interesting color kind of hard to see when it's in the bottle so i have the color here painted on a nail tip here is what it looks like as you can see it is very sheer it is a really pretty color and it reminds me of like amber the next color we have here is called ego this is what it looks like in the bottle just a really nice dark muted purple and this is what it looks like painted on a nail tip i don't have any of those swatch sticks i wish i did but this is what we get okay the next color we have here is this really sparkly pink called flawless just a nice really beautiful shimmery pink and can you guys guess what this color is perfect for? It is perfect for a Valentine's Day nail set. Here's what the color looks like on a nail tip. Really pretty and soft and just a really nice color. And for our final color, it's another glittery gel polish. This one is called Rock and Blue. This one is a beautiful, almost purpley blue glitter gel polish some holographic in there here is what that looks like on a nail tip i also wanted to just let you guys know a little bit more about madam glam so they are vegan cruelty free and they have over 800 different shades of gel polishes so if you guys are interested in any of the products i have here today the link for them will be in the description you can also use the code nailsbyvic30 underscore one at checkout for 30 percent off your order and you can also check out their vip program and you can get 50% off all year round so if any of this sounds good to you make sure you go check out the description and let's just get right back into the video all right so these are the four different colors we have here today so let's just get right into this nail set okay so today I have for you guys a beginner friendly nail set I told you guys I would do beginner friendly nails so here we are I'm just gonna try and be more detailed with the steps that I take so let's just get started with the nail prep here are my natural nails I have not done a nail set on this hand in a very long time. They definitely need some help. I'm just going to be using my cuticle pusher and I'm going to start off by pushing back the cuticles. This is like double hard. I have nails on this hand and I'm using my non-dominant hand. So this is um, a challenge. We don't want all this dead skin to be sticking to our nail plates because if we put our poly gel over that dead skin, then that will cause lifting and we don't want that. We definitely want our nails to last. All right, next step, I'm going to be taking this round cuticle drill bit and I'm gonna be working this around the cuticle area. All 
right, here's how the nails are looking. We're just gonna dust off this excess dust. Now, I'm gonna be using my cuticle scissors next, and I'm going to be trimming off all that extra dead skin from around the cuticle area. For my beginners, just be very, very gentle at this part and be very careful, take it slow. Over time, you'll eventually be able to tell like what the dead skin is and like how far down to cut. Okay, next I'm going to be trimming down this excess growth of my nails. All right, and now I'm going to take my hand file and I'm just going to smooth out the free edge of the nails. Okay, so for this next step, I would normally use my e-file, but I'm using my non-dominant hand and it's a little bit harder to use my e-file with this hand. So I'm just going to be removing the shine from my nails using a hand file and I'm just going to gently file across the surface of my nails. And the next step is to size out these nail tips. So I have here some not polished extra long nail tips, but we're not going to keep them that long today because I think long nails might be a little bit harder for beginners. So we're going to keep them kind of short, which I normally don't Okay, so we're just gonna size these out and we're just gonna make sure that these nail tips fit from one side of our nail to the other side and I think this nail tip fits pretty well. So I'm just gonna do that for all the nails. Okay, so I have all the nail tips sized out over here and I'm just going to be gluing them on with some KDS glue. So I'm gonna try my best to glue these on as straight as I can because with my non-dominant hand, that's always an issue. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue at the tip of my nail here. Get the nail tip and hope for the best. All right, and on to the next nail. Okay, so all of the nail tips are glued on now and I'm going to be trimming them down a lot today. We'll start here. That's a nice length. Next step is going to be reshaping these nail tips just a little. The only thing that I kind of reshape at this step is kind of to bring in this nail tip because it's like a little bit too C-curved. I just try to file right here and I file on the opposite side. I put my thumb nail tip underneath the nail that I'm working on and I just file downwards to straighten out the free edge of the nail. It's just some simple shaping to clean up the shape just a little bit. And I'm going to continue this on the rest of the nails. Okay, next we're gonna be using the e-file and I'm going to be using this fine grit sanding band. And I'm gonna be removing the shine from the nail tips. Just like this. Okay, so here are how the nails are looking so far, and we're going to move on to primer and dehydrator. I'm first gonna start off with some dehydrator, and I'm gonna put a layer on each of the nails. This is gonna remove any of those excess oils that may be on the nail. Next, we're going to be using the primer, and I'm going to add a layer of this on each of the nails. Okay, so once we have the primer and dehydrator on, we're going to be adding on some base coat. I'm going to be using the Madame Glam base coat. I'm going to add on a nice even layer of this. Okay, so once all the nail prep is done, we're going to be starting on the poly gel application. I'm going to be using a nude poly gel. We're just going to be using one color of poly gel and we're going to be adding some nail art on top of it. So I'm just going to be making all these nails nude and I'm going to make these nails in one bead. At least I'm going to try. So on the pointer finger, I'm going to add a bead starting near the cuticle area and I'm just going to drag up. Okay, so this is the poly gel on the nail now. I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to dip my brush and tap off the excess and I'm going to get patting out this poly gel. I'm going to start near the cuticle area, just kind of thin it out because obviously we have a lot near the cuticle area. We don't want that much. Just kind of drag it as close to the cuticle area as I can. We don't want too much poly gel running towards the cuticle area. We don't want it to flood and you know it's poly gel so you have unlimited amount of time to shape your nail. Okay, so once the cuticle area is all situated, I'm going to drag up the sides of the nail. 
just like this and as you can see like our nail is starting to come together now to build an apex we want to try and leave this large bead of poly gel where it is it's kind of too much poly gel right there so i'm gonna spread it out just a little bit to make it not as thick in that section That is a little better. Now I'm going to continue to drag up this poly gel on the sides here. And once I have it about this far up the nail, I'm going to start smoothing out this tip of the nail. Okay, so the tip of the nail is looking a little bit too thin, so I'm going to try and drag up some of this poly gel onto the tip of the nail. I'm trying not to touch this section right here. I'm just trying to drag up from the middle here. I'm going to take that poly gel towards the tip of the nail just to make everything a little more leveled and make it so that the tip of the nail is not as thin as it was. Okay, so now onto the free edge of the nail. It's a little bit lopsided, a little bit lumpy and crooked. So I'm just gonna take my brush. I'm just going to pat the poly gel flat, like trying to match the nail tip to make it nice and straight. what I most commonly do to like clean up the shape a little better is I just kind of go back and forth between smoothing out the sides of the nails. Okay so here's what I got the nail to look like. Here's what the side view is. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this in my nail lamp for 30 seconds to 60 seconds depending on your nail lamp. So this nail is fully cured and before I continue working on the other nails I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this tacky layer that poly gel leaves behind like after you cure it because I don't want to be accidentally touching that and getting my fingers all sticky. And there you have it, our first nail done. And we're just going to continue on with the other nails. Once again, to explain, I'm just going to start by patting out near the cuticle area because we want to kind of thin out the poly gel. We don't want this cuticle area to have a lot of poly gel. Okay, and once I have the cuticle area all situated, I'm going to drag up the poly gel on the side here. And now as you can see, the cuticle area is really thin and the middle of the nail is very thick. I'm just going to be patting out some of this poly gel towards the bottom of my nail. That way everything can be a little more leveled. See, just kind of like that. And I'm just going to gently smooth over the top. Next. I'm going to be spreading out the tip of the nail here. Okay, and now I'm going to try my best to smooth out everything and make sure that the shape is nice. and here is the second nail done i'm going to cure this in my nail lamp all right so here's what we have done so far i think the shape is looking pretty good so i'm just going to be repeating the same thing on the other nails
Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after all the poly gel is applied. Now we're just going to get reshaping them. I have my McCart Dust Collector here and my hand file, and yeah, we're just going to get reshaping. So I'm going to try and explain a little bit of how I shape my nails. So for shaping the thumbnail, I just start by placing my fingers like this. I hold my thumbnail with my pointer finger, and I take my hand file. I start by filing at this angle on this side, and I just file this side first. And then I would go on the other side and file this side. And then I would go to the tip of the nail and just file straight down. And that's basically how I shape the nail. And I as well file over the entire nail and make sure that it's nice and smooth. Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they are all shaped. I think they're looking pretty good. So we're just going to get right into this nail art. So this nail art is obviously optional. If you're following along with this nail set, you can stop right after we're done shaping and just adding on a layer of top coat. But I wanted to do some Valentine's Day nail art and also because I wanted to use the Madame Glam gel polishes. And I love using these pretty gel polishes in some nail art. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I started off with a layer of top coat on all of the nails and we're going to be doing this like diagonal cut nail art design so i started off with a base layer of white because i wanted to use the pink shimmery gel polish called flawless and i wanted that color to really pop and be a little bit more bright so i added a layer of white first and then i went over that with the pink glitter i haven't done many nail sets with this design like this diagonal cut look so it was really fun to do that today because it's something i haven't done in a while and i also think it is a great beginner friendly nail art because it's very simple but of course everything takes practice but i think this is definitely a little bit more easier than other nail arts And to add that touch of Valentine's Day, I wanted to add some hearts. Hearts are very easy. All you need is a dotting tool and a nail art brush. And you're just going to make two dots right next to each other, but not touching. And then connect those two dots at a point and that gets you a heart. And it's really easy and pretty fun because it's just relaxing. So I added like a few hearts here and there on the nails. And I also went over them with that pink glitter gel polish.
Okay, and once all the nail art is done, I'm going to be taking this Madame Glam top coat and adding a layer of that on each of the nails. Next, I'm going to be using the Madame Glam cuticle oil and I'm gonna add a drop of that to each of my cuticles. And here's how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set. I think it turned out to be really adorable. This set is so cute and a very good option for beginners. It's a simple one colored poly gel nail set with some nail art. So let me know if you guys think this is a good beginner friendly nail set. I hope it is. And I hope that I was able to explain all of the steps in detail. And I hope I was able to help you guys because I know in the beginning of the poly gel journey, it can be a little bit hard. So I hope this video can help once again if you are interested in this madam glam gel polish or the madam glam nail lamp all the information for it will be in the description you should go check it out right now but that is pretty much it for this video i hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all next time bye